questions are asked of you each and every day, everywhere, from the community to the classroom. Questions at home, do you have volleyball practice tonight? Maybe questions at school, what is nanotechnology? Or questions at work, can you work an extra shift Saturday night? Reaching out to someone and asking them questions is a key step in opening the lines of communication and showing that you are interested in the person and their well-being. In September, our school community will continue to encourage an environment of open communication, focusing on suicide prevention. Today, I will share the first of five steps in helping someone who may be having suicidal thoughts. The first step in helping someone is to ask, the person, are you thinking about suicide? This should always be done in a supportive, non-judgmental way. You can also ask questions such as, are you hurting or can I help? By asking questions, you let the person know that you care. The flip side of asking is listening. Take the person's answer seriously and do not ignore them. Listening to why they are in emotional pain and reasons they want to live are both incredibly important. Reach out to an adult if you are concerned about one of your friends or family, and they can help you. Always remember the first step, ask and listen, and be the one to make the difference in a person's life.